North Carolina CDL Passenger Vehicles Test. Question 1. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 2. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 3. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency hospital supplies. Emergency drug shipments. Tear gas. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Answer. Tear gas. Question 4. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Answer. You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 5. You must not allow rider to stand. Within 2 feet of an emergency exit. Within 2 feet of any window. Between the wheel wells. In front of the standee line. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 6. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 20 50 25 15 Answer 15 Question 7. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 8. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 250 pounds. 300 pounds 100 pounds 500 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 9. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. 
you need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 10 When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 11. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Zero. Eight. Four. Six. Answer. Zero. Question 12. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only by a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck by another bus with its four-way flashers on if the distance is less than 500 yards if getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders answer if getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 13. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 250 pounds 300 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 14 Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments Emergency hospital supplies Tear gas. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Answer. Tear gas. Question 15. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 16. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Always have a red door light turned on. Not have any signs stickers or marking near it be secured when the bus is being driven all of the above answer be secured when the bus is being driven question 17 when should you check your mirrors for a lane change after completing the lane change before and after signaling the change right after starting the lane change all of the above answer all of the above question 18 
how many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers. 4 6 0 8 Answer 8 Question 19 which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency hospital supplies Small arms ammunition, ORMT Emergency drug shipments Tear gas Answer Tear gas Question 20. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 21. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only if required by company policy. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Always. Answer. Always. Question 22. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 8. 4. 0. 6. Answer. 0. Question 23. You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of any window. In front of the standee line. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 24. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses. Reflectors Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors Question 25. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Be secured when the bus is being driven Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it Always have a red door light turned on. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 26. You must not allow rider to stand. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of any window. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 27. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 4. 6. 
zero eight answer eight question twenty eight buses may have recapped or regrooved tires only on the front wheels only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour on any or all of the wheels anywhere except the front wheels answer anywhere except the front wheels question 29 when should you check your mirrors for a lane change after completing the lane change right after starting the lane change before and after signaling the change all of the above answer all of the above Question 30. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders, buy a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Buy another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards, Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 31. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 32. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 33. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Buy another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 34. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 250 pounds 100 pounds 500 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 35 when is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. 
Always. Answer. Always. Question 36. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 37. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 38. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 8 0 6 4 Answer 8 Question 39 if your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Always have a red door light turned on. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 40. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 41. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Zero. Four. Eight. Six. Answer. Zero. Question 42. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 43. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 44. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. On any or all of the wheels. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Anywhere except the front wheels. 
Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 45. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 46. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 4 8 6 0 Answer 0 Question 47. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 48. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 49. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 100 feet. 10 yards. 5 feet. 50 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 50. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is Off the regular route The next stop Dark and poorly lighted As safe as possible, or the next stop Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 51. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 52. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds 500 pounds 250 pounds 300 pounds Answer. 500 pounds. Question 53. If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Not allow them to do it. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 54. 
How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 0 8 4 6 Answer 8 Question 55. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Accident reports will be accurate. You can help impair drivers. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 56. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 50 feet. 100 feet. 10 yards. 5 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 57. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 15. 20. 25. 50. Answer. 15. Question 58. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 59. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 60. You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. In front of the standee line. Between the wheel wells. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 61. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 62. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 63. 
If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 64. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only if required by company policy. Always. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Answer. Always. Question 65. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 66. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 6. 4. 0. 8. Answer. 8. Question 67. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. All of the above. Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 68. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 69. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. Right after starting the lane change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 70. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Reflectors, fire extinguisher. Accident Reporting Kit Answer Fire Extinguisher, Spare Electric Fuses, Reflectors Question 71. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is The next stop As safe as possible, or the next stop Dark and poorly lighted. Off the regular route. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. 
Question 72. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Always have a red door light turned on Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it Be secured when the bus is being driven All of the above Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven Question 73. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 74. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 75. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 76. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Not allow them to do it. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 77. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is Dark and poorly lighted as safe as possible, or the next stop. Off the regular route. The next stop. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 78. You must not allow rider to stand. In front of the standee line. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 79. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Always. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Answer. Always. Question 80. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 500 pounds 100 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds
Question 81, when inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 82. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 83. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 20 25 15 Answer 15 Question 84 if a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Not allow them to do it. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 85. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 6 0 4 8 Answer 0 Question 86. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 8 4 6 0 Answer 8 Question 87. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 88. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer you need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 89. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 8 4 0 6 Answer 8 
Question 90, which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 91 When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 25. 50 15 20 Answer 15 Question 92 When is it best to wear your seat belt? Always Only if your bus holds more than 27 people only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if required by company policy. Answer Always Question 93 If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 50 feet 5 feet 100 feet 10 yards Answer 50 feet Question 94 You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 250 pounds 500 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 95 Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only by another bus with its four-way flashers on by a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck if getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders if the distance is less than 500 yards answer if getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 96. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 97 If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Be secured when the bus is being driven. Always have a red door light turned on. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. All of the above. Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 98 Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency hospital supplies Emergency drug shipments Small arms ammunition, ORMT Tear gas 
Answer. Tear gas. Question 99. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Anywhere except the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 100. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 101. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 10 yards. 100 feet. 5 feet. 50 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 102. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 103. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Zero. Eight. Four. Six. Answer. Zero. Question 104. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only if required by company policy. Always. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Answer. Always. Question 105. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 106. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.